Ahoy there, dudes! Welcome to Pirate's Parlay. Today we'll be unboxing Munchkin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Deluxe. Now let's crack open the shell and see what's inside. Alright, so let's tuck into Munchkin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Deluxe. First of all, it came with this delightful bookmark. All right, so this one says Deluxe. We got this on Kickstarter a little while back. I can't remember if any weren't Deluxe. I remember there was a black and white one. We didn't get that one. All right, kick open the door, fight the monster, grab the treasure, the usuals. Oh, that board looks good. Did we get that board? We must have gotten that board. And they're using the old school artwork. The Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman, and that's delightful. Ninja Turtles came along at a very interesting time in my life. When it did, it was more about those original comics. Anybody remember those big collected graphic novels? Yes, well, I had those first four. And they were delightful stories that had just as much about being annoying roommates as they did with being ninja warriors. I think that's what I liked about Turtles. All right, well, we did end up with a little ding on the box, but honestly, that could be our fault. I kind of hate that that bothers me so much, but I, I doubt I'm the only one who cares about the condition of their things. Okay, so you've got the usual rules. Let's see if anything leaps out as being different. Character creation, setup, card management, starting and finishing the game. Conflict between cards and rules. Turn phases, when you may take actions, character stats. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Treasures. Combat. Oy. See, he wasn't in the comics when I was reading them. He was in that god-awful television show that made me want to not go see the movie in the theaters when it came out. I'm really glad I did, though. Combat. Interfering with combat. Monsters. Death. Traps. Combining other Munchkin sets. Now, do people really do this? Because those card backs are just a dead giveaway. Now, I know you can sleeve them, but that's a whole lot of cards. And you can't just buy one kind of universal sleeve. You're going to hide the backs because you got the doors and you got the treasures. Supersized. Faster play. Really, faster play. For a faster game, you can add a phase zero called Listen at the Door. At the start of your turn, before doing anything else, draw a face down door card which you may play or not. Then rearrange the cards. No, sorry. Then arrange cards and kick open the door normally. If you loot the room, draw a face down treasure, not a door. You can also allow shared victories. If you reach level 10 in a fight where you had a helper, the helper also wins the game no matter what level that player is. I do wonder why they would put that. Maybe it's in other newer versions. I can't remember the last. Perhaps Steampunk was the last new one we got. All right, anyway, there's the rules. Oh, now we can mark the space in two books. Do they do the same thing? One, show everyone the bookmark, yeah, yeah. Two, play this bookmark when you're losing and need to run away, yep. Three, crumple up this bookmark, representing a turtle re retreating into its shell. You may then run away automatically from all monsters in the current combat, even ones where escape would normally be impossible. Well, that's a hefty price to pay, but at least you get to do it twice. But yes, they're the same. Okay, well, the old schooler in me finds these to be delightful. These standees with the old school work. I do believe they had Kevin Eastman on this one. See, Kevin Eastman left Turtles, and then Peter Laird kept it going for a while. And then Peter Laird sold it to Nickelodeon, and Kevin Eastman came back. And he helped make those movies that... Everyone loved equally, didn't they? Usagi Ojimbo. It's nice to see him. Their best borrowed character, since they can't keep Cerebus all the time. And here's that board we saw on the back. Oh, cool. Pizza, pizza. Manhole, manhole. Okay, so... I would, I would assume that the manholes are going to be the doors, since it's a point of entry, and that the pizza would be a treasure, because why wouldn't it be? Ninja pizza! Pizza that vanished quickly without trace. All right, so there's the board. Well, let's just set that over here for now. All right, let's go with this. The little player boards. That's right, we got Marvel Munchkin also. 
We played it all of twice, someone got mad, and we didn't come back. Okay, so Michelangelo, and it looks like they all have bonuses. Michelangelo, each player may gain plus one for each equipped card that gives a bonus to Runaway. Raph, each player may gain plus one for each ally card discarded. Donnie, you may draw door cards instead of treasure as a reward. Why would you want to do I guess if you want to look for trouble. Leonardo, each player may gain plus one for each kata equipped. Pigeon Pete slash Miyamoto Sage. Pepperoni, there's a character called Pepperoni. Stranger Splinter, Stranger Danger. April, KC. Oh, there's other Mikeys. I see. So these were the black and whites. And these are the colors. So let's see if they're the same. Coming back to you. Uh, no, they're not the same. You may play an additional ally for this combat only. Discard any extra allies used this way at the end of your turn. Raph, you have no allies and you are not teamed up with another player. You get a plus three bonus during combat. I like him, even though I'm more of a Leo man. Donnie, you may draw one additional face-up treasure when you defeat the monster or monsters. And Leo, you get a plus three bonus. Well, what? What? why wouldn't you just... Okay, why... why... Why would you want that instead of that? I guess they're, they come out randomly. All right, well, I'll bother trying to understand it later. Oh, you see all the 80s paint splash? Don't eat that. Let's move this box over. All right, this is what's left. Well, here's the die. These are very basic numbers. No glyph, just numbers. Here are the stands, what hold the standees, no doubt. Don't believe there's any surprises inside. Nope, fairly straightforward. Okay, so, time to answer that burning question. All right, going by backs here. Pizza, manhole. Pizza, 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 pizza. All right, next. Does anybody else remember going to see the second movie after watching the first one over and over again and thinking, oh boy, more of the same, and then getting there and realizing that wasn't what you got at all? Heartbreaking. Okay, so we're going to assume that these are the doors. Let's see how I did. Weak spot, minus five to monster. Wandering monster. They're not listing the card types. This game has gotten a little more simple than the last time I looked in. Wandering monsters. Aggressive stance. Gain plus three if you have two or fewer cards in your hand. Also gain plus two against monster monsters level ten or higher. Defensive. When you take part in a successful combat, draw treasure. Draw one additional card. Gain one to run away. I feel like that should be a smoke bomb or something. Technical stance, you may have an additional ally. Allies grant bonuses that give you an extra plus one. Trap, hey, that was my pizza. Trap, disarm. Trap, teleporter incident. Oh, well that's a fun picture. Trap, give it up. Trap, arm rocket. Mouser ambush, foot strike. Let's split up. Bad pizza. Ew. End missile. All right, here we have katas. They seem to attach like uh, like items might. Heightened reflexes. Coordinated assault. Fancy footwork. Float like a butterfly. And sure enough, sting like a bee. Pizza party. Reckless attack. Batter up. Family feud. Tactical retreat. High priority target. Dual wield mastery. Martial arts master. Throw weapon. Ambidextrous. Ah, what have we got here? Here we've got some monsters. All right. Let's see who will be fighting. Who will we be fighting? Savate. Mugger. Mook. 
Purple Dragon, Mouser, Victor, Foot Soldier, Stone Soldier, Flyborg. Oh, that's clever. I don't remember you. Darkwater Soldiers, Mouser Squad, Foot Squad, Dragon Gang, Foot Assassin, Flyborg Swarm, Captain Trag, Granitor, Street Phantoms, Jammer, Maze, Hun Jones. You mean he was from the comics? I remember him in the, well, one of the series. Elite Foot, Darius Dunn. Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, they came later in my turtle's career. Agent Bishop, Old Hob, Baxter, Koya, Bludgeon, Karai, Brainwashed Leo. Oh, well, there's an interesting bad guy for you. Your own blood come back to bash you head in. Rat King, Kitsun, Lopix. Am I saying these right? Slash, Hack R, Leatherhead, Krang, Technodrome. That gets its own card. Shouldn't it be something bigger? Shredder. And then... You, transformation Unlikely Alliance. Monster Enhancers. Cheat. Defensive Stance. Technical. I remember you guys. And more traps. Well, that's what's behind door number one. Now let's see what we got for treasure. So these say one shot. These are allies. These are items. Lots and lots of items. Oh, right up until about here. So let's see, what are these? Go up a level and more one shots. Use any time. Draw two treasures. And if you're Mikey, it only gets better. Think I'm getting the hang of this? Self destruct. Bringing down the house. Cannonball! Eat shucks! All right, allies, Commander Dask, Princess Trib, Honeycut, Splinter, Woody, <laughs> Harold, Metalhead, Angel, Alopex. Here I go again. Jenica, Seymour Guts, clever. Mondo Gecko, Harmon the Hermit Crab, Sally Pride, Man Ray, Shredder's Helmet. Whoops, I guess we're into the items now. Of course we are. So, items, Shredder's Helmet, Exosuit Helmet, Slash's Bandana, Hockey Mask, Training Mask, Bebop's Shades, which actually don't do anything, according to this picture, Splinter's Robes, because everyone wants to see a naked rat, Pizza Chef Suit, Exosuit, Samurai Armor, Bebop's Jacket, Phase and Cloak, Mondo's Skateboard, Samurai Gita, Geta, hmm. Bebop's Boots, and apparently they reek. Psy, Katana, Staff, Nunchuck, Gravity Glove, Shredder's Claw, Retractable Claw, Splinter's Stick, Stun Baton, Shuriken, Juniper, Roberta, N Neutrino Rifle, Stun Rifle, and good old Hockey Stick. All right, well, it looks like everything's playing by the general rules here. No major surprises that I was able to deduce at first glance. So you've got... Cards and bookmarks. You've got your characters. The board is really nice. I'm excited about using it. And about seeing these guys standing up on it. Though I can rarely get more than three people to play this game, if I can even get that. I don't know, something about Munchkin. But the good people like it. That's all that matters. Well, those are the contents. Thanks for stopping by and having a look with us. We're gonna throw this onto the table soon. We'll tell you what we think of it. In the meantime... Happy holidays.